Okay. So, quick review from yesterday. Um, so, velocity versus time graph. You've got uh, above the x-axis is going in the positive direction. Below the x-axis is going in the negative direction. As you go away from zero, you're getting faster. Okay. Good with that. Did we talk about this? Do we? Okay. Tell your neighbor why the right answer is the right answer. What? Okay. Don't be, I mean, don't stand right here. You're going to be blocking people. Stand right in front of everyone. Okay. Correct answer is D, dangerous dinosaurs. Below, hopefully, your conversation sounded like this. You're below the x axis because it's going in a negative direction. You're close to zero because it's slow versus E is fast in the negative direction. Okay? All right. Bless you. Up whenever guess. Have a conversation. Simon. Yep, you can check. Okay, correct answer is C. Okay, here's a suggestion on how to read or interpret velocity versus time graph. I recommend making up numbers. So zero, negative one meter a second, negative two meters a second, and then pick points. So here you're at zero, you're at rest. Here you're moving at one meter a second in the negative direction. Here you're at two meters a second in the negative direction. So put it all together. You're speeding up in the negative direction. Okay. Thumbs up when you have a guess. Talk to your neighbor. Um, there's downstairs in the science wing, like uh, in the corner. Okay, correct answer. Okay, is A. Okay. Um, D is speeding up. 
but at an increasing rate. So, um, D is in the realm of possibilities in terms of life. It's not, it doesn't break physics. Um, however, we are going, it's going to be beyond the scope of this class. Uh, when we talk about speeding up, slowing down, it's going to be at a constant rate. Okay, so your velocity versus time graphs will be straight lines. Um, not horizontal lines, but lines. Um, in order to evaluate D, that would require calculus, and that's beyond this at this point in time, like not in this class. Good with that? Okay. So straight lines for velocity versus time graphs. Neighbor, what you think? Correct answer is E, educated elephants. Okay. Um, you're starting fast, two meters a second in the negative direction, one meter a second in the negative direction, zero. Good with that. Wouldn't you be moving like towards the positive direction though? Because you're moving, if you're reading left to right. Okay, so. You're moving like up towards the positive part of the graph. You are not, okay, so what this would be, in motion, this is positive, this is negative, starting fast, and I'm slowing down. I mean, what happens next? Maybe. But as of right now, we're just negative. Uh-huh. Okay. Yep. Good to that. Good question. Thumbs up when you have a guess. Talk. Elmo. Eric. Eric. Correct answer is E. More educated elephants. All right. So you're starting fast in the negative, like two meters a second, negative, negative one meter a second, zero, positive one meter a second. So you are slowing down, stop, turn around, two meters a second, positive. So you're speeding up in the positive direction. 
Good. Next question. Have a conversation. Correct answer is Bountiful Buffaloes. You can do Bolivia. Okay, so the popular misconception, the popular air is I turned around here. That's the popular air. You don't turn around unless you go from positive land to negative land or from negative land to positive land. Here we're always in positive land. Good with that. How are we feeling on velocity versus time graphs? Pretty good. Are you kick it up a notch? So I give you a position versus time graph and you give me the velocity versus time graph. <laughs> Thumbs up when you have a guess. Converse. Tell them why. Tell them why. Correct answer is B. Beautiful butterflies. Okay, here is the overarching principle for this type of question. The slope of a position versus time tells you the value of velocity versus time. The slope of a position versus time graph tells you the value of the number for velocity versus time. Slope of this is zero. The value of this is zero. Next question. up when you have a guess. Talk to your neighbor. Tell them why you think so. Oh, 
Correct answer is good. Positive or negative slope? Negative. negative slope. Is the slope changing or is it constant? It's a constant negative slope. Therefore, you have a constant negative value. Okay. Next question. up when you have a guess. Give it a whirl. Correct answer is? Okay. This chunk here, positive or negative slope? Negative. Negative. Is it steep or shallow? Steep. Steep. Corresponds to fast or slow? Fast. Fast. So we have a fast negative velocity. Where on a velocity versus time graph are you going to stick fast going in the negative direction. You're going to stick it in negative away from the x-axis. Say it again. It's also curved, so it's not an option there, right? So I'm going to give you, right, like you, um, I mean, ideally, right, you don't, you know that, these aren't going to be the answers because it's curved. But here um, is that. So it's negatively sloped, shallow, slow. Where is a slow negative velocity on a velocity versus time graph? Slow negative velocity. It's located still in negative land but closer to the x-axis, connect the dots in a straight line. You all right with that? Good? Give that one a shot. up when you have a guess. Talk to your neighbor. Yeah, 
Correct answer is? Correct answer is B. Beautiful butterflies. You have a steep positive slope. Corresponds to a fast positive velocity. Shallow positive slope corresponds to a slow positive velocity. Connect the dots. Good with that. Taking it in chunks. Okay. The red corresponds to the royal blue. The pink corresponds to the sky blue. I didn't even understand the colors. What? What? Is it in color? Yeah, is well, it, I can't tell the difference. Is it the light purple or the dark purple? The, this corresponds with this. That corresponds with that. That color. Yes. Right. Yep. Have a conversation. Correct answer is? C. C. E. Correct answer is E. This one has a shallower slope than this one does. So it's going to be closer to the axis than this one. This one's steep. This one's shallow. Good there? All right.